nonprofit in Vermont celebrated the spirit of Earth Day all year long. It's expanding a way to dramatically minimize waste in a place you may not have considered, the tennis court. Jack Thurston has that story. Before this flooring was flooring, even before the rubber in it was chopped into tiny bits, it was a bunch of tennis balls. Anything you can do to get more use out of any material is important. For years, Dave Simpkins has been uncomfortable with the reality of the sport. It seemed always very wasteful. See, balls have really short lives. They're often used only for a single outing before they're considered trash. But now, Recycle Balls is serving up a solution. I had no idea it was such a big problem. Longtime tennis player Derek Sr. learned a few hundred million balls were bouncing into U.S. landfills every year. So that's 20,000 tons of you know, non-decomposable waste. And he says it can take four centuries for a ball to break down naturally. So he came up with a machine that separates the fuzz from the rubber. The fluffy stuff becomes footing for horse arenas, and those little chips of rubber get used in the construction of new tennis courts. We're definitely making an impact. Ryan Sr. is Derek's son. These are all sorted balls. He's helping Recycle Ball's effort to distribute collection boxes to gyms, parks, and other tennis facilities nationwide, providing shipping labels that send full containers back to the headquarters in Vermont. Here, some balls are punctured for reuse on legs of tables and chairs as floor protectors. All over this country, People have been using tennis balls like this for years. It's great that we're able to now make it the process a lot easier. Others are sold wholesale to dog toy manufacturers, funding some of the nonprofit's work, along with major support from the famous tennis brand Wilson. And still in development, a list of other ways to possibly transform rubber and nylon, maybe into footwear or fabrics, all from an object once considered not recyclable. The fact you've been able to accomplish this with tennis balls, does that mean you can recycle Almost anything. Yeah, I think so. There's a lot of waste that's created in this world right now, and it's it's important to look where you can and make a difference. Recycle Balls believes it's making that difference, diverting some six million balls from trash bins over four years. It's a start. And aiming to expand its collection network internationally, hoping to, over time, score a big win for the planet. I look at the ball now as material that can be used for other things, not just playing tennis. In South Burlington, we are changing habits in this country. Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.